stay connected to Larry Reed Live. Take a moment and like the Facebook page, subscribe to the YouTube page, and hit the bell. Text Larry Reed Live to 33222. That's the words Larry Reed Live, no spaces, 233222. And get notified when we go live. Become a member of Patreon today by logging on to patreon.com forward slash Larry Reed Live. Download the Patreon app and turn on your notifications. Get connected today. And now, welcome Larry Reed Live! How y'all doing? He gave me life. He gave me life. Then I might live. Then I might live. He gave me joy. He gave me joy. Then I might live. Welcome to Larry Reed Live! This is your most favorite entertainment news and talk show that's out here in these social media streets. Now, many other people are trying to do it the way I do it, but they can't. They just ain't got the oil on them to do it. But this is the way that God gave it to me. And do you enjoy it? Now, if you enjoy watching us, I want you to right now hit like and hit share and tell Naughty Dotty every darn body that Larry Reed Live is on. My name is Larry DeReed and I'm the host of Larry Reed Live. What I want you to do right now is to make a decision that's going to change your life forever. I want you to become a part of my most exclusive community. Now, if you're out here watching Larry Reed Live and you on YouTube and on Facebook, see, that's just the funny part of the show. There's some other things that go on. I'm sitting in this beautiful space now, and your ass ain't here. You know why? Because you're not in Patreon. P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash Larry Reed Live. Now, if you do that, you can come to my events. When you see me travel, whatever city you're in, you just hit Erica up. And she'll let me know, and we can meet up. I hug it, kiss you, and, and get, smell you a little bit. <laughs> you know, smell is important, you know, very important. Okay, so this is what I want you to do. Do Go to p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash Larry Reed Live and become a part of the community. And if at any time you are watching tonight, when we are airing, maybe I'm airing this during the day. Hell, I don't know. But if you are enjoying, what I want you to do is contribute to this platform. See, nobody controls this platform. It's for the people and by the people. I don't have to get in the bed with none of them niggas. Mm -mm. Because we are self-built and self-sustained. And we do it because of you. So go right now to your cash app, open it up, dollar sign, M B. In network and I want you to donate in the eights and twelve eight dollars eighty eight cent eighty eight dollars eighty eight cent twelve dollars eighty eight cent twelve hundred dollars and all y'all rich for eight thousand and twelve thousand and just donate tax deductible see there ain't no other show on the internet where you can give two dollars and tell Uncle Sam that you gave it to me and he'd be I I I there's nobody like us so this is what I want you to do right now Open up your phone, go to Cash App, dollar sign, MBN Network. Venmo, the at symbol, MBN Network. Spell it right, because there's some folk that's amazed some other, you know, try to trick y'all and get y'all money. And you can also text the word GIVE, G-I-V-E, to 404, hell, what's that number? Mm -mm. It's 404, oh, 800, 4530, is that right? That's it. It's down there at the bottom of the screen. Just do what it says and send and do the word give, and then you you be able to send the money to us. Now, for all of the bougie people that only deal with Zelle, our Zelle email address is info at thembnnetwork.org. And you can also go to our website, LarryRelive.com, and click donate and process through PayPal. And for all of you that like to send gifts and send money orders and cashiers checks still, 
you can send to 780 Morasco Drive Northeast, suite number 244-224, Atlanta, Georgia, 30324. Now get ready. We're about to have a conversation. Ah! Southern Luton. <laughs> Well, the person that's coming to the stage now was also on, uh, not Sunday, but um, well, she was, but um, Kingdom Business set. <laughs> Lily is like really funny and really regular, and we're both Aquariuses. And so we just have a natural ability to just get, get along. And I was in my trailer, and I heard her when she seen my name on it, she said, hold on, let, let reads it. Larry! And they screamed in the middle of the, of the set. And I happened to hear, hear and I came out and said, hey, Lily. So this is probably going to be a great conversation. It's been a long time coming. She's called into the show over the phone, but we've never had an in-person interview. So it's just going to be a conversation. And wherever the conversation go, that's where we're going to go. I think she is the absolute best female singer right, right now. <laughs> Period. Across the board, I think she is. And so we'll get to know her a little bit more. Ladies and gentlemen, jump to your feet and celebrate this gift. Leandria Johnson! <laughs> All right, you, you may be seated. Okay, Lily, I'm so glad you're here. You and Tamar got, had almost the same shoe on. I mean, you know. And y'all got some money. You know, this, they hurt. I heard God doing some great things in your life. Yes. So, I, is there anything I cannot ask you? Is there? Is there? No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, all things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. One of the most important things I want to make sure you know out of my mouth as it relates to you, I think that you are the best female singer out right now. Oh, wow. And it's not because I know you or, and like you. It's just the truth. It, I have I watch and I pay attention to everything. And the person who really told us this prophetically was Kim Burrell. On Sunday best, she said it was the Clark sisters, Kim Burrell. Then she said Leandria Johnson. Mm. And it's the truth. Wow. You are the vocal genius mm. right now. Aww. You are. Do you feel that? I feel like I'm one of the best. Okay. One of the best, only because I um, I had to stand on the shoulders of the Kimberells, the, the Clark sisters, the Dorinda Clark Coles, you know, and I don't want to keep naming, but, you know, I'm, I'm grateful and I'm honored to be able to sit here and hear this from you because um, this journey have, has not been, you know, all the way safe. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, <clears throat> What you hearing, it comes from a whole lot of pain, pain and turmoil. You know, I just want to know if, if I'll be able to ever sing from a happy place. You know, so that's what I'm yearning for. So, and you know, Bishop Pearson, you know, I love you so much. Um, I know it'll take meditation, you know, um, great meditation to, to be able to do that because I've um, grown up in the church all we know is all things that we can't do. So we, I sing from I, I can't do place, you know? So I wanna be able to sing from I, I can place, I can do place. Right. So that's something that nobody know, you know, about me, but that's the next level for me. One of the things I always saw was that, and it was amazing, it is amazing, where you are able to take pain and sing it like it's joy. Mm. Yeah. That is amazing. And I can tell it's coming from your pain. Yeah. But you, you express it, and what we feel is joy, and we get, we get breakthrough from that. Wow. wow. So uh, have you ever sang 
and then felt the joy come within yourself? After, after the show was over, okay. um, being by myself, and I, ain't gonna, I, I don't watch myself online because, you know, we are, I'm my greatest critic, but the one song that I do listen to and I'll just bawl and cry is Deliver Me. Deliver Me. I will bawl and cry off that. Better days I will too, you know, but Deliver Me because... I was in a place before that song came into my life, and Donald Lawrence took a chance yeah. on me. You know, we don't have a lot of people taking a chance on our brothers and our sisters, especially in the gospel um, industry, and that's why I want to thank him and uh, Sir the Baptist. So when I go back to that Sunday Best clip and I see myself singing those words, I'm still just like, hey, God, I need you to deliver me from some things, like for real, for real. Mm -hmm. like. I need you to take certain things away from me. But I can be honest and say, you know, I ain't really ready for you to take it away from me just yet. <laughs> you know, not just yet, but I don't want to be forced right. to do it because somebody thinks that I should. Mm -hmm. I want to I be able to say, man, I'm done with this. I don't want to do this no more. I'm, I'm, I'm getting out. Okay. I almost stopped smoking cigarettes uh, yesterday, but something happened. <laughs> <laughs> yes, something happened, Bishop. Something happened. <laughs> Ended up back in my hand, you know, so. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> it's on the way, y'all. It's on the way. I'm, I'm, the I'm, way. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. On the way. Mm -hmm. and, and that's one of the things I love about you. Mm -hmm. um, I remember years ago, Periscope. Mm. I had just moved to Atlanta, and I have, from afar, I always watched you mm -hmm. from when you won the competition. And you had that red cup in your hand. Yeah. <laughs> and Patrona, you was going off, going off. Yeah. And so I went live right after you. Mm -hmm. The mother of my children is sitting right there. She called me and said, did you see what Leandra was doing? And I said, no. She said, everybody's talking about it. It must have happened when I was asleep. <laughs> and so when I woke up, I went on, on Patreon. I titled it, we will not throw Leandra Johnson away. And when I went live, and I started talking about it, and it was 20,000 people, which really, that really was the real launch of Larry Re Live. Mm -hmm. Because after that, everything I had to say about anything, everybody listened to me. They followed me from Periscope to Facebook to YouTube. Mm -hmm. So you really are a key, intricate part of the birth of Larry Re Live. Wow, wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Hey, and I'm, <clears throat> and I'm gonna say this, like, I wasn't even mad. <laughs> I, w I wasn't even mad because it's like, what other way can you be yourself and allow people to see the vulnerable you? Mm -hmm. Allow people to see that you that they tell you not to show. Mm -hmm. You know, so I wasn't mad about that. We had, a, we had a conversation. I was like, hey, bro, if anything comes out about Leandria, just ask me if it's true, and I'm going to give you a yes or a no. <laughs> and I think that's how we all should be. Yeah. I feel like this is, this is what this man do. <laughs> this is his job. We don't get mad when we see stuff on TMZ and all that kind of stuff. When we doing all that talking about TMZ, Shade Room, none of that Jasmine brand, none of that. I ain't throwing no shots, but I'm just saying we support what we want to support. And at this end of the day, we're going to still support Larry Reed live. <laughs> Uh -huh. And I want to thank you. Yeah, you I want to thank you because you helped me get outside of me out to the world. Yeah. You know, so. And, and I want to thank you for being transparent like that because you are us, mm -hmm. but you, you just don't try to hide anything. No. You don't hide anything. You so, put it all out there. But they're they trying to get me to be a little more conservative, so I, I need to know from you. What, I mean, you know. They want me to be a little more conservative, so... I get it, you know, if I'm having a couple of cocktails or something mm -hmm. like that. I mean, I guess everybody don't need to see me drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is this an interview or what? <laughs> you know, but I have, to, I have to also pay attention. I have four beautiful children, yeah. you know, and they looking at me, and I don't want them to think that it's okay to, you know, be completely total you in front of everybody. I was just comfortable being me, not to just 
be me, but just to let people know you don't have to be afraid yeah. to be around me. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to quote scriptures. You ain't have to do all that, none of that church stuff. Just, what's up? Hey, how you doing? Right. What you drinking? <laughs> and, and that's how we, you know, you were the first person to make me drink anything. When we went to that place in um, Duluth. Was it Duluth? Oh, man, yeah. And we met. The Arena Tavern. Yeah. That's it. Yes, sir. And you said, meet me down here. It was the middle of the night, and yeah. I went. Yeah. And there was something that was blue. Yeah. You said, let's get that. It's not bad. That's all right. And you didn't know it, but I sucked on that thing and looked at you. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> and I don't know anything you said. Because <laughs> everything got hot. <laughs> I said, yeah. what in the world? For real. <laughs> he was like, you drink this? <laughs> I was like, yeah, bro. Get into it. Get into it. Get into it. <laughs> uh, I, this is my opinion. I've always said this. Um, I didn't ever think that you needed to change. Okay. I did know that the alcohol thing had got out of hand. It did get out of hand. Yeah. It so, did. So was Iyanla Van Zandt the reason why that you really were able to come out of how bad it was? Iyanla was the first person to tell me to my face, you got a problem meaning from an outsider. Like my family, you will get from my family, like my brothers, like my brothers, I love them so much, my sister, I, they're my biggest supporters. They'll be like, hey man, hey man, you need to chill out, cuz. You, you need to calm down, you know, da 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 da. But Iyanla made it to the point where, cause I was like, man, I'm grown, man. I'm like, she was like, yeah, if you was grown, you would handle your business. See, the alcohol got out of hand because I didn't have life insurance. I didn't have health insurance. I was still renting. You know, I was not handling my business. All y'all was hearing was the voice. But my life, my personal life was jacked up. And the reason why I was jacked up because I was focused on alcohol. I was drinking from uh, you know, for my pain to ease certain type of pain and this and that and that. So Iyanla was like, nah, but if you a grown woman, you'll put that bottle down and you'll get some life insurance, you'll get some health insurance, you'll get your... We cuss on yeah, Patreon? we cuss. We cuss. Yeah. We'll get your shift together. <laughs> Thank you, Bishop. We'll get your shift together. So it don't feel good when somebody looking you in your face and telling you what you need to do because you like, okay, so what about your life? <laughs> And that's how I felt. That's why when y'all seen that scene and I was smoking my cigarette, yeah, that's when that had happened. And then that's when she came out, lean not into thine own understanding. And I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but she was true. A lot of people thought that she was just being her. No. Everything you saw with me and her was real. And it was true and it was authentic. And I really do thank her for that moment. I really do thank her for that moment. <laughs> Yeah, I, I thought that she was authentic and that she was real mm -hmm. in, in that moment. I think what people thought, though, they thought that that moment meant you would never drink alcohol again. No. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm telling you, I thought that I was going to, let me tell you, the reason why I say I thought, like, okay, I went from drinking Patron, I don't drink Patron anymore. I went from drinking Grey Goose, I don't drink Grey Goose anymore. And you know, people be around there talking about liquor is liquor, it, whatever. Yeah, liquor is liquor, but everybody liked their particular. Patron was not good. Goose made me loose. <laughs> you know, Tito's right now is it's a, it's a simple thing for me right now. And right. I, don't, I don't feel, and I'm looking everybody in the eyes I can. Tito's is not a problem, but it's just something that I still do. But I'm learning on my own what's good for me when it's good for me and what's not good for me when it's not good for me. Because when I say it's done, it's going to be done. Right. Now, I thought I was still going to be drinking, Larry, until my 70s. Yeah. Because, see, I have family members in my family that are still drinking. Yeah. But nobody know they're drinking because the spotlight ain't on them. Ah. So they yeah. over there getting drunk and they, you know, and they love God. Yeah. And they can give a word. Mm -hmm. They can do all of that, but ain't nobody talking about them. 
Yeah, yeah. I, but, I, I, it's, it's, yeah. And it hurts, though. It hurts to, to hear people say, well, every time I see her, every time I'm around her, she always drunk. Mm. That, now, that hurts. Yeah. And if I did come across like that, Brian, I, every time you see me, Brian, I, I be drunk every time you see me? No. That's what, that's what I'm saying. So I don't be drunk every time people see me. You know, <laughs> now, you know, percentage of the time, you know, when you catch me, you know, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> but be merry, huh? Be merry. I just be merry. That's all. <laughs> I just be merry. But see, I know you. So mm-hmm. I've seen, I know the growth. Mm-hmm. And I know that you're in control of your life now. Yeah. And that's holiness. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's, it's great to see how holy Ooh. you've become. Talk about that now. <laughs> People think holiness is, you know, yeah. <laughs> talk. <laughs> talk about that. He just blessed me. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Woo. Okay, so there was a clip I got a lot of stuff I want to talk about but we we got a time limit yeah I'm good Um, and I got to get up in the morning Mm -hmm. Um, there was a clip that went out and I have never heard you sing these notes because I know your voice well Mm -hmm. and you went down the aisle and you squatted which you always do Mm -hmm. you squatted and he was not I think it was he was there I don't know what the name of the song was no it was a when we when all, we to all that's right. Yeah, okay. When we Leandra, what the hell was, how did you do, what was that? I, I honestly, I honestly don't know how I did it. <laughs> I promise you I don't know how I did it because I just smoked a cigarette <laughs> or two right before. So I don't know, but I just, it was just something in me. I swear to God, y'all, like I, I don't know how I did that. I literally smoked my cigarette, two of them, <laughs> right before I did that. I just... It goes back to me feeling the energy of the people. Yeah. And I felt the energy of the people. And let me tell you something. The energy of the people when you're singing can change your whole oh, that's dynamic. True. That's true. So I was just, when we all get to heaven, what a day of addressing there would be. Yeah. Yeah, that's Ooh. true. Rance Allen used to say that. He mm-hmm. said, if y'all get, if you, if you stir me up, he yeah. said, I'll be able to hit my notes. He said, but I can't just hit them. He said, because I ain't got it. Oh, he man. said, but if you, he said, if y'all get with me, he said, I'll be able to do it. I believe and it's that. very true. I believe there's, that. There's an energy that comes from above, mm-hmm. but then there's an energy that comes from, from the people. Yeah. Yeah. And it's inspiration. Yeah. And it's powerful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I'm, uh, so on a regular day, you can't sing that note. No. Because <laughs> I, I, I couldn't do it right now. I ain't going to lie. I couldn't do it right now. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Not even gonna try. Don't. Right. I see drums and organ. Nope. <laughs> nope. Can't do it. No. Let me ask. You, let me ask. But but you gonna sing in the morning? Oh, I'm. A, yeah, I sing in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yo, they all right with me. Oh uh, yeah. So the gospel music industry. Okay. Right. <clears throat> How is that going? I mean, because you are, it's almost like you have given the gospel music industry one big F for you because you are completely yourself yeah. and you're still on the road working. Yeah. And they have to hide who they are and you don't and you still book. Yeah. I, I would say now I was speaking to the religious part of it, the religion part of it, the traditional part of it. Um, I hope I'm not the first person to say that, you know, I was talking about individuals, Mm -hmm. but the more I sat back and I've watched that clip, (laughs) maybe I can count on one hand how many times I went back and revisited that clip. And um, I still don't argue the fact of what I said. You were right. You know, I I just should have, I wish I could have did it sober. Right, okay. But maybe it wouldn't have came out like that if I was sober. And I'm just being real. You know, what if I was sober? It probably would have still been, you know, a little pacified little moment. You know, but um, right now it's, it has to deal with, 
what we've been taught by our forefathers. Mm -hmm. You know, we were taught this by the people that came before us. Mm -hmm. So am I really mad at them or am I mad at those who taught them? Mm -hmm. To the system. So who am I mad at? It's the system. It's religious the, system. It's the system. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Fuck the religious system. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had. Can I get that out? I, I'm sorry. I, love, <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, you know. Yeah. But it, it, it needs to be on a shirt. Yeah. It, it needs to be on a shirt. And you you should actually sell that because you originated that. Man, they going already, man. I. <laughs> Man, I just did the Stellas tonight. I can't be talking about fuck the religious system. <laughs> I just did the Stellas. They ain't going to have me back next year. No, no. Yes, but, they will. Because, no, but, because everybody, I mean, because you're the best. Oh. And nobody can do what you do. Oh, Larry. It's the truth. Okay. I know, just, I'm not saying it because we cool. It's the truth. I know. I just, just say I'm one of the best. No, Andrew. No, just say I'm one of the best. But what, what is that in you that wants me to say that? Because a lot of people are not where you are right now. Okay. Where I am right you now. You know why? Because I'm the best. <laughs> oh. So, so, listen. Okay. You are the best right now. Oh, man. It's the truth. Okay. I mean, you, you, can't, you can't accept that. We all know it. <laughs> Listen, and I'm talking about gospel, R and B, it all. Man. You are the best right now. I just do what I do, man. I, I, I ain't, I'm, I'm serious, y'all. I, I do what I do. I promise you. You know, I just, I appreciate it. It's the I truth. Really, the okay. Answer. Okay. <laughs> Okay. It is the absolute truth. Well, can I be the best in my business? See? <laughs> I'm real, right? Okay. I would like to be the best in my business. I don't want to be the best just in my voice. I got you. I want to be the best in my business because if I was the best in my business, mm -hmm. hmm, I'd be singing before the queen. <laughs> <laughs> but because my business is not intact, I can't go before the queen. Right. But it's coming. Right, it's coming. But, uh, but, I, but I love that. I, I, I love that. I love that. I heard, speaking of business, a little bird had told me that you're about to close on a new house. Yes. <laughs> so your business is, is, is looking better. It's looking better. And guess why it's looking better? Because I pushed the bottle to the side. That's right. That's I right. can do that. I pushed the bottle to the side. Yeah. And guess what? It wasn't even as hard as I thought. Wow. Because see, what you really want, you're going to get what you really want. Yes, and if I don't care what it is, man, woman, liquor, whatever, it's not going to get in the way. Yeah. And you know, and I owe this to a particular person. Who? Uh-huh. Is this, is this a new man in your life? I mean, you know. <clears throat> <laughs> you know, that's an exclusive right there. That's an exclusive. This, I mean, you know, this, I give it to you. This I is Larry Live. This is Larry Live. Um, yes. We ain't going to have no name. There is. Uh, there is. There is someone who would not. I'm so used to, you know, I'm an Aquarius, so, you know, I'm so used to, you know, having things my way and doing everything, you know. Sometimes it takes somebody to come up in there and be like, sit down. <laughs> no, you're not going out tonight. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I don't even like the smell of liquor on your breath. Mm. So, if you're going to be with me, what's up? Uh -huh. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I ain't got to drink tonight. I ain't got to drink tonight. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yo, my life has changed. It, it has. It has changed. You know, um, is this the one? I believe that it could definitely grow. Okay. 
further than what it is. I've just never had nobody just really just yeah. like be trying put to put you in your place. Yeah. And support you where you need to be supported. Yeah. Yeah. It is, you know. Okay. It's new to me, y'all. Yeah. It's new. And I just be like, hold on, cup. So how long how <laughs> how long okay, we all know she would we were married to Forrest. Mm -hmm. Now that's over. How and Forrest is an amazing he is. an amazing my listen, my ex husband, baby daddy, y'all, he's amazing. The best musician ever on the planet. Yes. The only musician that I know that can follow me forever and ever and ever and mm -hmm. ever and ever, you know. Um, he, he's, he's an amazing person. We were young. Yeah. We were young, and um, a lot of things happened from both sides, but I would never knock him down. Yeah. I would never knock him down. He's an amazing father. Yeah. Yes, it was just we couldn't do right. us together because right. <laughs> right. we were young, you mm -hmm. know. But um, he wrote Better Days along with my brother. Like, he's a, hey, the man is all right. Yeah. I just want everybody to know that the man is all right now. It was just us. We, you know, probably more so me, you know, that, you know. <laughs> but anyway, but yeah. But I like that um, everybody I interviewed tonight, Yolanda. Tamar, mm -hmm. they both said the same thing. They praised their exes. Yeah. So I, I think that is probably key to your success because you you honor. Yes. You know the man, the men that were in your life. Yeah. But you I, honor I your honor, father. I honor him. <laughs> now the other two. <laughs> they kiss <get> my. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bishop. Now the other two. Uh. -uh. <laughs> Mm -mm. <laughs> nah, Forrest, the only one. Mm -mm. Everybody else, nah, they going on. They, they watching tonight. Yeah, I'm talking about you. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the other two. Uh -uh. Look, I'm so glad to have Lily here because you, she just like she is. This is how she is all the time. There's, <laughs> there's, there's no, she's been her authentic <laughs> self. Okay, I think, I think that is great. Been a mother. Okay. What has been a mother taught you recently? Mm. Um, to spend as much time with your kids as you can. Because I remember staying at my granny's house and my mom and dad being on the road with ministry. I hated that. And then when I hear my children say, Mom, we just want your attention. We don't want this and we want that. I say, stop lying, stop lying, stop lying. But it taught me to just spend much time with them as you can. I don't care. Like, even when I'm tired, don't want to do nothing, just be in the same room with them and just hear them fuss and fight and ask for Uber Eats and, and pizza and want to go to the pool and want to go all that. Do that. That's what I want my children to understand and want them to know. Like, I'm out here, I'm working, and I'm, I'm falling at the same time, but I'm getting back up, but I'm providing. As long as you got a roof over your head, as long as you got clothes on your back, they ain't got to be name brand clothes, but you got clothes on your back, shoes. I'm just saying, you know, just learn from that, you know, and, you know, appreciate it. I don't, I think my kids are a little spoiled, see, and um, that's, the, that's a big problem. That's a big old problem. I don't want spoiled kids. I want grateful kids. Right. And I think mine spoil. I, I think mine are too. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yours. Yeah, your beautiful girls. I see. Yeah, y'all spoil. What are you? They here? They over there. Y'all spoil, baby. <laughs> I love it, though. I love it. <laughs> they, they are spoil. They, they are spoil. I mean, having children, it, it, it has changed me and still is. Mm -hmm. Still is changing me. Yeah. yeah. Okay, wow. All right. Did that answer your question? Yeah, okay. that answered my question. I mean, okay. I, I mean, I know it's, it's difficult. I heard that from Yolanda and for t from Tamar mm -hmm. and anybody that works hard like us, mm -hmm. that balancing fatherhood, yeah. being home, as opposed to being in your work that provides for yeah. the home. Yeah. Yeah, that can yeah. be a little. And I can't even be the disciplinary parent mm. because I ain't there. 
Okay. I'm there, but you know, right, I ain't okay. really there, you know? And so when I get around them, they try to do what they do to their grandparents to me. That don't work. <laughs> no, that don't work. Yeah. It just don't even feel right. Right. Yeah. We saw you not only work through the pain of addiction, but the loss of your, your brother. Mm -hmm. How was that now? How many years has it been? Um, seven years. It's been seven years. Uh, November 16th. Um, no, I'm sorry, November 12th, 2016. Yeah, seven years. Um, I'm slowly dealing with it. You know, it's, it's still painful, of course. You know, um, that's the reason why I started smoking cigarettes, because that's what he smoked. Wow. So I did that to feel like I would be closer to him uh, and all that kind of stuff. And wow. yeah. Um, um, he would be super duper proud, super duper proud, you know, but um, I'm just dealing with it. I just have to learn to deal with the grief of losing him in a totally different way. So I'm just trying to figure that out. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. You, so it's something that you're, you're still processing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then I just recently lost my, my uncle and my grandfather. So everybody, you know, they were back to back. My uncle and my grandfather were back to back. And um, nobody told me that he was transitioning because I guess they thought that whatever. But um, mm -hmm. he, y'all remember the Sunday Best audition? And it was my brother and my uncle. Yeah. So when nobody wanted me, no, nobody wanted to drive me. Yeah. It was them two that. Wow. Yeah, I would have never knew who I was if it wasn't for them telling me, come on, let's go. We're going to go and we're going to do it. So, so they believed in your gift. They did, yeah. 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 yeah that's good. <clears throat> so maybe I'm, speak, maybe I'm speaking for them to tell you that you are the best, because clearly they thought you were. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, you are. You are. And you're a great person. Um, I think it was in 2016 when we met. And I've just watched ever since then. And I'm so proud of you. Thank I mean, you're you. doing great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And, and I love that you, you sort of kick against the system. I mean, that's what Aquariuses do. I mean, we buck against the system, and we reform it. Mm -hmm. I think you're you're reforming things as you're you're being yourself. Somebody get us some tissue. What right. the world? When she she crying, she got on white. <laughs> it be dripped. You say you just came from the Stellas. What the hell are you doing? I was a <laughs> yo. I was on the stage with Kirk Franklin, Maverick City. Oh, okay. Zicardi Cortez, okay. Melvin Crispell, Chandler Moore. Okay. And it's called Blessed. Bless Me. Okay. And the hook was, he got everything you need. Mm. And I think, what is these? It's the cutest people they do. Hey, Robert, how you doing? Yeah, give it up for Robert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the new thing that the women do now for tears. Oh, okay. I'm so glad I'm a man. Mm. Y'all got too much going on. Three holes, two titties. That's a lot of management. It is. It's crazy. It's the truth. That's a lot. Yeah, the pee hole and the puss hole and the boot hole. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. I'm still trying to operate off the two. <laughs> Lee Andrew, you didn't know you had a pee hole? Huh? You didn't know you had a pee hole? I, I know I got a pee hole, but I, I can't use my pee hole. You, know? <laughs> you can use the one underneath it, but you know, like, you know not, not the one on top. <laughs> the makeup, hair, nails, that's a lot. All of that. Mm -mm, I'm so I'm thankful to be a nigga. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm tell thankful. him thank you. Tell him thank I'm, you. I'm thankful for that. Okay. Now we got just a few more. Y'all tickle and juice. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all just get the ease drop on our conversation. <laughs> okay. Okay, we got just a few, few more minutes. <clears throat> One of the things that I feel that you should re-embrace, 
Can I be honest? Yes. What you were doing on the Preachers of Atlanta was trailblazing. Mm -hmm. You went, you dressed like those on the street, a lady of the night, mm -hmm. and you handed out condoms. Mm -hmm. I watched the church kill you for that. Yeah. But we're in Atlanta. Yeah. And we're one of the top five highest HIV and STDs. Mm -hmm. I said, now, ain't ministry we supposed to bring resolution and resolve and yeah. she's doing ministry. Yeah. I went online, I talked about that on, on the show. I think you make a wonderful pastor. Aww. And you sort of, I don't know your business, but I do, but it sort of seemed like that you let it go. I did. I did. Why? Because of, of that reason alone, and then I was young, and um, yeah, they, man, they shot me down, boy. I mean, I was getting it from left and right, and, I'm, and I'm, I was more of a firehead than anything, so I was just like, hey, I'll bow out, you know, and go head on and just let this rest a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then again, I had to learn uh, God even more for myself. Mm -hmm. my own relationship. Now, yeah, I was passing out condoms and, and the thing about I was passing out the cigarettes and everything, but I met them where they were. Mm -hmm. I couldn't go down there dressed like this, trying to talk to no prostitute. They would have been looking at me like, who do you think you are? I do know God. I love God. But when I was dressing like them, we could have a conversation. Then I can be like, man, I'm going to go to this church. Yeah. You want to go to this church? They're like, yeah, girl, I go to this church, girl, I go to this church. Mm -hmm. And that's how it started. But I didn't know it was going to be that way, you mm -hmm. know. But um, I this, thought about this is my suggestion. doing it again, but I don't this know. This is what man. you do. You ain't, church is different now. You can do it Lily's Lee, way. Mm -hmm. You can say four times a year, we're going to meet, and we're, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have a meeting. Mm -hmm. And then you can have hire a second pastor who may do the weekly prayer or mm -hmm. may do that online, but mm -hmm. physically have service with your members a few times a year. Wow. You can do it your way, the way that works for you, but I know that there are women who will follow your ministry and look to you. Wow. I know they wow. will. Wow. Okay. So think about it. I will. You sound like my brother. My brother, my baby brother, Mike, mm -hmm. he was like, man, if you were still in there, Man, shoe, man, you, he didn't say shoe, he said shift. <laughs> yeah, but uh, he was like, but I, I, I get it. I, um, it was a beautiful, beautiful feeling. Too. It was a beautiful moment. It was just, I was young. Yeah. Yeah. Reality show. Mm -hmm. Is that something you would ever consider again? I, I would. With, without any limitations, meaning still being able to see the, the raw me, but I don't wanna be in a place where everybody couldn't eat from what I was bringing to the table. You know, I will want to be able to feed correctly. Okay. You know, if that makes sense, you know, because everybody ain't ready for a lot of stuff, right? Yeah, true. The you know, transparency that comes with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I wouldn't want to be able to um, give it to them knowledgeable. Is, is, that, is that right, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. before, you know, anything, you know. Okay. And that comes from experience, you know. You get yeah. out here talking and you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Right. I, I, I think just like I had an interview with Kurt Franklin's son, mm -hmm. um, carry on. Mm -hmm. And I told him, I said, you are reality TV gold. Mm. And then the next thing I know, he was taping with the Zeus Network. Mm. And I think you will make great reality TV. Wow. Oh my Lord. I'm about to get I will the... watch every week. Wow. I'm going to have to get it right then. But you, I want you to understand, I just, I want to be able to have things in place. I, wanna, I want it to make sense. When they see it, I want them to be able to hear it. I want them, I want to be able to, you know, clarify certain things, you know. Okay. I want them to be able to understand, oh, okay, so that's why. 
Okay. Give them some, you know, not word, but you know, knowledge about you okay. know situations. So, uh, okay. is that ma- I'm not making sense? I get I, I get what you're saying. Okay, I get what you're saying. You, you you want to do things with that has a higher purpose than just doing the thing. Yeah, yeah. don't want to just be out there just you know. Okay. Cause see, I I cuss, I cuss <laughs> a lot. Oh, I know. But I don't want to be out there just cussing a lot. Listen, let me explain. Hold you know on, let saying? me hit you. Y'all get what I'm saying? I don't saying. want you to do the reality TV you used to do. We want the cussing. It, it, we, it, reality TV. That's what, if you can't do it the way that you are, I don't think you should do it. Because you're not just cussing and whatever. You, you have a relationship with God that is very real and authentic. Yeah. And I think that all of that is a ministry. It is. I just... It is. I just want to. They gotta get more from me than just the cussing. Right, right. You know, I just want them to understand why I am cussing if I'm a cuss. <laughs> That's all I want them to do, you right. know, and then we just go from there. And, the right, uh, the right team. I, I don't, yeah. what I've always feared, and you know this, when I was, uh, I had my sister then, we were trying to work with you. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't want no label trying to make you be what you're not. Yeah. But I do understand there's some things that, you know, when it comes to this, you have to do. But I don't want you to ever change. I want you to remain Lily, which I know you're not going to do about the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. I am. I, I'm going to always remain me, be me. Like, as soon as I leave here, it, pfft. <laughs> what you, time is it? You got to be here at 8 o'clock in the morning. Oh, I'm going to be here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna be here now. Now, one thing is, now I will show up. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, I show up when you want me to show up, but I'm gonna show up, and I'm working on that. I am working on that. Yeah. That's a part of handling your but, business. But you're here on time tonight, according to what I was told. Yeah, because you put me on blast in front of everybody before I got out here and said I was late. Yeah, I did, but they told me I was yeah, wrong. I, I was down there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know. Okay. Apologize. I was wrong. I, I did. I Thank apologize. You. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> if you love Lily, jump up to your feet and make some noise. I love y'all, I love y'all back. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs>